homecoming in Escanaba as the Eskimos welcome in the top ranked team in the state. Detroit Country Day, the Yellow Jackets strike first as quarterback Steve Mann finds Roy McCree who slips a tackle and scores the game's first touchdown. The Eskimos offense would sputter, but the defense was strong. Here is Justin Popelka with the sure-handed tackle, forcing Country Day to eventually punt. Escanaba's quarterback Logan Lamb faced a third down and finds Brandon Punzel on the, in the middle of the field for the big gain. The offense, however, couldn't punch it in, and Country Day still led 13-0 at this point. The Eskimos defense, though, fought hard to hold down the high-powered Country Day offense. Cody Roberts comes out of nowhere for the sack here, but the top-ranked Yellow Jackets pulled away for a 26-0 win over the Eskimos. Final day of the Old Timers Hockey from Lakeview Arena. Pats Marquette taking on Carp River. First period and a breakaway for Pats and the goal just minutes into the contest. Carp River though is up 2-1 at this point until a shot is on target but bounces over the goal and recovered by Pats and put into the back of the net to tie it all up. Second period though and the dagger comes early for Carp River. A beautiful assist that finds a net and Carp River takes the lead. They hung on to that lead and won the match 3-3. To two. Michigan Tech soccer beat Ohio Dominican 3 to 1, and Walsh beat Northern Michigan in two overtimes 2 to 1. So, hot, our soccer going on for both Michigan Tech and Northern Michigan. Northern Michigan was looking for their first win, but that double overtime victory, that one's a heartbreaker. That's for those of you that have absolutely no interest in football, so you go to soccer. Uh, you know, there, there's chances where you might be able to catch everything. I mean, there's, there's always, obviously, with technology, you can bring up your app, you can watch your fantasy team, you can do whatever you want with whatever app you have. Multitasking. So. Exactly. Multitasking, watching the soccer game, watching whatever football game's on. Some people might even be able to pull up an app and actually watch the game on the watch ESPN. So you never know what's going on. Packers do play tomorrow, though. They are hosting the Kansas City Chiefs. Packers are trying to improve their record to 3-0. Well, sounds good to me. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, Ethan. Definitely.